we know it was not because anybody saw anything in us but you are a god of hope you see hope in broken people you see a future in someone who is finished and just there on the road and it is on that strength that we have received grace to love others and today we ask, Father, do what only you can do. Tani mo tu bega o Biko she song I want to sing. That's the type of song I want to sing. As I march towards the throne. That God found a use for my life. Uh, maybe you don't understand. Maybe you don't understand. As at the age of 10, I was already experimenting with homosexuality. God found a use for me. I can talk about it because it's my scar. I, the devil meant to to break me. He didn't wait for me to know myself. He started working over time. Let it, the boy must not surface at all. So, when I get to him, I want to be able to say, over my life, God found fruit from the earth. And say, God, you reigned over my life. Forever all my days. Say forever all my days. I don't know how far you can go. I don't really know how far you can go. But if God could come that far for somebody who was experimenting with homosexuality, I don't know if you've been involved in incest before, but if God could come so far for a boy that was already experimenting with incest, 
and he says, You, 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 I want you. You, I want you. You don't know this love. You think you do. You don't understand it. God goes for the broken. God goes for the messed up. God goes for the ones that the world has rejected. And he says, you, 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 I want you. I want Peter. I want Paul. I want those that the world has rejected. Those are my guys. And that is the story. That is the song that I will sing. When I see it, that despite everything, despite all my weaknesses, despite all my bodies, I made it to the other side, singing hallelujah. Say forever, oh my day. If you don't understand what I'm saying, you won't know why some of us worship the way we do. I can tell you for free that if not for Jesus, I won't be doing anything close to church. I'll probably be one of the popular national gay guys in Nigeria. I have all the anthems. I can tell you the things you need to say to convince anybody that there's nothing wrong with it. Even from the Bible. I can tell you that changing your gender is equal to changing your hair from natural hair to perm, permed hair. It doesn't affect your spirit. I can tell you. I can manipulate the context of the word of God and you will not see anything wrong with it. The Bible says in, the, in, in Christ there is no male or female. Why should my physical gender be an issue? Do you understand what I'm saying? We can, we can take the word of God and manipulate it except that the Lord said your body is the temple you can't you can't change anything not your spirit your body your body you can't that body is there is on loan you can't touch it you don't know the architectural plan you can't do anything to it i would have been damaged goods even with all my holy ghost sometimes when i do something i look at myself i say oh boy you never born again finish me, I see. Look at my side. I say, oh boy, you need to give your life again." I don't know how many people are like me. Like you just sometimes you look at yourself. You are like, "Oh boy, <laughs> you never born again." Finish. And yeah, God in heaven is saying, "That's my guy. That's my guy. That's the guy bringing a hundred thousand souls. That's the guy bringing one million souls. That is the guy bringing ten million souls. That guy, that one you say you gave up on. That guy." Say forever, oh my day. Forever, oh my days. Hallelujah. Forever, oh my day. Forever, oh my days. Hallelujah. Say forever. to Matthew 28. Have you noticed that God specializes in the bad boys? That all you church people, all you sanctimonious holy people, <laughs> God is still looking for words to speak to you. For you them bad boys, yeah? He got something to say. Clearly, he has written it down in his paper. He knows what to say. Matthew 28 and go to the last three verses. Listen to me. The last three verses. 18, okay. In case you are still wondering and thinking that Jesus came to give you the good life, I came to announce that they came to recruit you. You've been recruited. Though you've never worn the uniform. You kept it under your bag, under your bed. The, the brothers, brother Bidemi, brother Lawrence, 
Brother Humphrey. When they were sharing the word of God with me, I remember a particular day in Command Secondary School. I went to a senior class to share the gospel. Break time was gospel, uh, gospel time. Like one film I watched, break time. <laughs> Say break time. So, break time for me was gospel time. And I didn't preach to my mates. I went to, you know, Command Secondary School is like a military school. So, they are, they are wondering where this one strayed from. And then I go there and I hold my Bible. It's not iPad, it's Bible. In those days, it's easy to know where a Christian is. But you got your Bible. And when you open the Bible, you will see all the edges. They have been reading it. Not highlighting. They are reading it. <laughs> because you, you highlighted some things, you never went back there. But when you read your Bible, there, there's just this thing about looking for something in your Bible. If it's your own Bible, you'll find it. If you have been reading it, too, because some of you, the edges of your Bible are very smooth. Very smooth, like new. And you pride yourself that you know how to take care of Bible. <laughs> Who sent you to take care of Bible? Open the thing and read it. Bend it, bend it. You can't know Bible with iPad though. iPad, as you are checking it, your friend is sending you a message. Sir, let me quickly respond to this one. If Brother Lawrence, I remember that day, I, 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 I preached in a senior class and they, the boys yet tried to lynch me. <laughs> we have been suffering for Christ at our own level. At our own level. They tried to lynch me because they saw me as a junior student. It was Brother Humphrey that came to my school and said, No, it's with me. And took my hand. And he said to me, Don't be discouraged. Do it again. He saw that I was shaking. And then he said, Don't worry. It's part of the assignment. He said, But you do it again. You don't stop. This is your motivation. Go all out. He didn't ask me my spiritual level. He didn't ask me. They saw me when I gave my life to Christ in the fellowship. The day I gave my life, I came out and I shared the testimony of my salvation. When last did you hear people sharing testimony of their salvation? Because nothing is happening. I don't thank God. Last night when pastor prayed, they gave me 12 million. Praise God. <laughs> yeah, pastor is hearing it. You didn't even send anything to pastor. Oh, pastor just say amen, amen. He's less person. He, 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 for you, testimony is money. You know, they, 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 those things are not in the sense of God's testimony is in business. You know, how, how far is our kingdom advancing? It's not all this, all this. Uh, uh, they thank God for the money. Amen. Pay your tight. If Brother Lawrence that day had not come, they would have punished me. Because was a command school, they would have punished me. I would have thought about my life. I remember that I was in a Unity Secondary School in Owo, and we had a copper, a youth core member. Please say it if you can. And he was my commerce uh, teacher, and he was like a Delta guy. You know, he likes, you know, flame joy. He was always telling me, "Benga, this this town, Owo, you know, Owo town, is very boring." Like they need to go out and drink and do some things. So one day I just sat and I said, Sir, can I can I share some things with you? He said, Yeah, what's that? He said, Have you ever given your life to Jesus? <laughs> he laughed. He laughed. <laughs> you know, you know they say someone don't laugh. <laughs> like I actually thought you wanted to say something very serious. He laughed. He said, Ben guy, you don't you know you don't need all those things. When you when you grow up, you you realize it. Huh? You realize it. It's not really just be a good guy, you know. Say so right now at your age, you need to learn what it means to be a man. You need to go out with the girls. You need to drink, party, club. You have. You need to have experience. Ah, but my Bible is not always far from me, so I brought it out. Revelation chapter twenty-one, verse eight. Womongers, adulterers. You see, God didn't forget about that. Believe by faith you are saved. God is very specific. Womongers, adulterers, and they that make it a lie. You see, make. You sit down and make it. It's not just lying. You are you become a craftsman. That scripture is not part of my message. I would have taken very beautiful. I love that scripture. You know, it's easy to memorize. 
that make it a lie. You just sit down like you, like you are making something, like you are making your daughter's hair. You make a lie. By the time you bring it out like this, the finished product, people will say, Wow. Say they shall have their part. That means a part has been kept for them. Not God, though. They, 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 they bought land, half plot, full plot, in hell. So they gave them their part. This is your investment in crafting, craftsmanship, in white lies. Pastor, I couldn't come because my head was aching. But we all know the headache was three days ago. By your mouth you shall be justified. By your mouth you shall be delivered or sentenced. So I will. I read that scripture to that core member. He said, "Benga, we need to talk about this again." So I put a tract under his pillow. But he didn't see me put the tract there. You know, in those days of tracts, there were some popular tract publishers. Forget that people don't read nothing right now. Okay, if it's not on Insta blog, you know, nobody's paying attention. If if you post, if you post, if I post anything now, even people in this church will not like it. <laughs> Is that serious? But if I go there and put a video, if you get problem. Call God if you get business. Call me. You know that one is very nice. Ah, people even share it. It's not the like. I'm not looking for a like. I'm just wondering where your heart is. It's your heart that we are talking about. It's not me. It's, it's Facebook. But now we need to face the book. Look at it. Body fearful. See the people that they are going to die. Oh fearful you see the problem is that it's written you can't you can't use the razor and remove it fearful unbelievers they have specialization is in doubting everything god says abominable those ones they are the uh, you know you know them murderers both with words and with knife sorcerers magicians magicians including those that are pastors idolaters people who worship their air they worship their air they worship their dress dress sense i need to look in a particular way there's a way i want the one to know the world to know me i'm i'm crafting my own you know my personal they are there oh liars god did not leave any one of the liars out he didn't say, oh, this one is born again. He said, all. <laughs> Unfortunately, if I was the one who wrote this here, I would say, Let, let's make it mild. Because we don't want to lose our church members. <laughs> but God said, all. Get to work, 8 o'clock, you put 7.45. Say, all. I saw your call. You saw it, you didn't pick. Later, I say, you, you didn't miss the call. You didn't pick it. You didn't miss the call. You actually didn't pick it. He said, all. This is the God that is the judge of the earth. Oh. He's, this, he's talking now. He wants to tell us what will happen on that day. You see why, if, when you are not preaching, this, the situation is as serious for you and as for those who you don't tell. He said they will have their part. You know, I told you they were buying land. They will have their part in the lake. So it's burning flames. Burning flames. Uh, but I don't believe we have people here who this is their story. But I can assure you, this is the story of anyone who is not in Christ. Matthew 28, verse 18. When I read this part of scripture, they are not very sweet. You can't preach revelation with it. You can't preach rema. It's just the way it is. Hey. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Based on this authority and power, I order you to go therefore, go ye therefore, and what? Number one, teach all nations. 
For those of you that don't like my father and the Lord, Pastor A. Adibwe, he has at least 40,000 churches in Nigeria alone. Don't count Africa. And they have churches in 192 countries, including Muslim countries. So when you open your mouth, you know you use just that uh, small phone. Like one man of God says, small phone and data, 1.5 gig that you have, that is your own on this earth. The only thing that we can that you claim, don't touch my phone. That's the only thing you have. When you see a man that has gone to where men fear to tread, and you see him, let, that, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hey. Okay. And you say that somebody posted on Facebook, say this, this old fool. This old fool. 192 countries. How many countries do we have in the world? 200 and something. Over 200. So Baba is just, Baba's target is to go everywhere. When you are here, think of how to buy one plot of land in Lagos. <laughs> so if Baba died, I will just say, you, I didn't build mansion for you. Come and believe in my own personal quarter because you are performing. Don't know house. We didn't build that because if you build the house based on the number of souls, there will be no land in heaven again. So come and be living with me. I'm telling you. He said on that day, we ask those people you thought were not. He said, come and sit down beside me. Then those ones that were wearing BB gown. I'm Reverend Benga Shafe. Carry your shoulder. Say, hey, all of you stay back. Where is my son? Uh, here at the way. Come, 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 come. Because when we get to heaven, nobody is looking at how many messages you preached. They are looking at the result. Somebody is right here now. You are, you are going to step into the realm of billions. How, how does that one affect God? When you have the money, is it for him or for you? The question is not the billion. The, the problem is this billion. What are we? <laughs> you want to buy coupe, porch, and put on Facebook for us. See, I, I, I just felt like taking a stroll. I bought three, three pots for my children. And people are saying, Ah, Amy, hello. But you will go later. Oh, she madarani. Amy, hello. Your vanity just rises. Ah, for this COVID period. Um, uh, ah. You will call your friend. I refuse to call my friend Pastor Desmond because I didn't want to be complaining about something I don't have business with. When you put three pink, navy blue, and maybe brown, you know, just just put it there, MRO. MR <laughs> Make that they look out. And just put it there, just pose with your girls. 148 million. God, the land we want to buy in Harvest Ward. We lost a property opposite here, 50 million. Land, though. Land. Me and James, there was nowhere we didn't go to. The money didn't come out. If I told you people, men and brethren, the hour has come. We are moving to permanent side. I will not see anybody call. The moment you have 50 million, your brain will just shut down. It'll just shut down. Like windows. Pam, 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 pam. You just shut down. Because 50 is, 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 is like your destiny. So, it's, 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 God doesn't have money problem. He has trust issues. You think me, I want to be poor? I'm not poor. Just that you can't see it. I can see the money in my account now. In the realm of the spirit. I can see it. And I'm telling you, it's not small money. I'm seeing like, uh, I'm seeing like 10 million souls in my account. Hallelujah. Okay, you, you are thinking of money. You see, I thought it's vanity. Even when we come to God, many times, we are hoping he will understand our situation and do something. 
we are hoping that, okay, no, I, I didn't talk. I just praised you throughout today. But I know you know that I, I, I'm still trusting you for a job. He said, go ye therefore. By the time God said to the disciples, led by the apostle himself, Peter, said, go therefore. Peter had no idea where he was going to go to. Because the moment this guy goes, there's going to be confusion in the camp. So you now see why many times as pastors, we say, come, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. Because when you don't know what to do, Adura ah, Lokon, let me tap it down. When you don't know what to do, the next thing you do is to pray. So when God said, go ye therefore, after he left, Peter just said, guys, I think the best is let's go to the upper room first. Uh, uh, because I know people are thinking Pastor Benga has all the answer. But I'm as clueless, I'm as blind as a blind bat. So let us pray. So you see, Peter, the prayer he refused to pray when they went to Gethsemane. You see, all these things we are doing that we are training you, you are saying no problem, it's not necessary. You want me to call you for a discipleship program to be talking about this regular Sunday message. In other places, this workers' meeting, workers' training, uh, uh, annual leadership conference. Recover your manhood. Recover, they give all kind of names. It's just for, for God, it's just like these regular. So when you don't know, you are waiting for uh, annual inoculation. You know inoculation? They just, you know, they, they give you injection so that to, to restart your engine annually. Month of emphasis. Souls. Because you don't even know what it costs him to come for you. You have no idea. And after dying and resurrecting, he made the condition so easy that many people still refuse to accept just believe in me. You see, that statement, believe and you shall be saved. Ah, no. Ah, no. So, this, this guy that was sleeping with me up and down, he even has a chart on his wall with names, acronyms. Benita, Tina. Eh, people, targets that he has achieved. So, he would just say, Father, I believe it. Ah, you know, you know, you know. He must suffer. Now, you may say it doesn't matter, but if it was your sister, somebody did like that too. Ah, hey, you can't be born. Hey, ah, I will call God. I will call him. Ah, sir, it's like you don't know this boy. Oh. You remember that time that I told you somebody, he said, I know. That's the guy. Say, hey, but want to use him. Ah, you know, you know. No, he will suffer small for what he did to my sister. For 600 years. Forgive him, oh, but he must suffer. You see, the go ye commission, the go ye command, was not a suggestion. If you are a Christian, eh, you can't shake this off. God has given us the script. He has given us the, uh, what do you call that, the key point. He has given us the answer. There is nothing like I didn't know the question that is coming. When you get to heaven, this is how they will assess you. So I say, I want my life to be a lifestyle evangelist. You better shut up and go out and win souls. Say lifestyle evangelism. <laughs> That's why you are where you are. Do you know why many sisters can't, can't preach the gospel? Even the addressing is a distraction to them. To them. If you are someone that has given your heart to the task of sharing the gospel every day or any opportunity, then you have to be ready. Many people in church are just using God. They don't need Him. They just use Him. They think God doesn't have option. They think God is bored. They think God is frustrated. They think God is lonely. Anytime we need you, we come. After all, we are no more going to the Baba in our village. We came to you. Help us. Help us. 
Baba, dear, if I call himself, I will even go. I'll just credit his account. Baba will do something and I will see results in Lagos. Many of you don't know that the reason why your parents are no more going to Baba is because of Jesus. You don't know. That your dad, being a man of God, would have been a Baba Lao if not for Jesus. Or someone like myself. <laughs> that I know born again. Hey, hey. hey, return of the man. That's the song that was raining when I gave my life to Christ. Return of. You may not know that song, don't worry. But the guy went to jail because of us. Return of the man. What is it? You, see, you, see, you know, I say people don't know the song. Return of the man. Those are the songs that made us run away from God because we felt we would not gain anything. In those days, what are we singing in church? Do you know there is another fellowship? And we don't need keyboard. Brethren want to buy drum for what? For what? Keyboard for what? You are not focusing on what is important. When we get to heaven, all the marriage supper, all the saints are gathered, all the lost assembly. No more party, no more wailing, farewell to sorrow, victory at last. Ah, when you hear those songs, your heart will be drawing towards heaven as if you should just die now and go. <laughs> but now, wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you why some of the things we do in church are pointers to our death, that we have been dead. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Hey, jump, 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 jump. That guy doesn't have prayer life. That guy that is leading you in that worship. Give me a wiper. There is not the dance that is my problem. I'm just concerned that when somebody who has no prayer life is leading you into God's presence. Whether he knows the address. Whether you won't end up on the other side of the road. Whether you won't follow one way. I'm just wondering. It sounds funny. But this is how many of you chose the churches you went to. Before you came here. Call it contemporary. I don't have problem with contemporary. At least I've sang some songs for you now. I mean, songs that you can also go and check. And know if the songs are there. <laughs> Many of those people, they are no more in ministry. They are, I mean, for, the, for Satan, because they are old. I've been in a, I've, seen, I've watched a live program where they were singing Michael Jackson's uh, song in church. I watched a program this year where they were singing uh, one Nigerian song, one love song in a British church. So you need to ask if your pastor is born again. You need to ask. I, yeah, are you, have you given your life to Christ? Do you know your pastor's testimony? Before you go and fill membership form. And then it takes you to the old court. I had You better ask the guy if he has prayer life. You better ask him if he has won a soul this year. It's a shame on many of us. Because he didn't say this thing to Peter alone. He said it to all of us. You are a Christian? You don't want to be a foolish virgin, win souls. When some of us, you know, when we're on campus, we'll go out and do evangelism, bring souls to Christ. Then we'll bring them to the fellowship. Then one usher that doesn't have prayer life will now be doing hand like this. Hey, go and sit down there. You, like this. I say, hey, 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 come here, come here. Stop doing your hand like this. We know the wala we did to bring this person. Say. I say, hey, Dosha. Be very careful. Why are you doing your life? Say, no, we are, don't direct anybody. They are our convert. Did you direct them here? Because many of us don't know what we have never been blasted for sharing the gospel. We don't know what it means. I went to share the gospel with a brother. The brother was on a big black bottle of Gouda. And the man looked at me. He said, yeah, I think I have a son your age. Oh, you should face your books. Stop wasting your time. I said, thank you. I carry my Bible. It's not every day we went out that sometimes, sometimes we came back thinking about our lives. 
Proverbs 11 30. What does it say? You see? The fruit of the righteous is what? Is what? Every time you make an attempt to bring a soul, you have brought a fruit to the Lord. And the Bible says that fruit will yield what? A tree of life. That means that tree also will not be barren. If God ever told Brother Humphrey that day, go and encourage this boy. When I became involved with the occult, 1993, when I became involved with the occult, if not for Brother Lawrence, who came to me and said, you cannot go anywhere. And he held my hand and challenged that serpentine spirit to come out. You will see me now. You will not know it is the snake that is dancing. You will think it's my village dance. That that's how we dance in my village. They say, lele, lele, lele. <laughs> this is somebody's life you people are laughing at. If you get to heaven now, do you see the condition Jesus gave? Sorry, look, now look at this. He said, he that winner soul is what? See God's definition of a wise man. Say, when I was in Harvard Business School, I remember when the Lord opened the door for us and we went to Harvard. Uh, I remembered the son of the ex-president was in my class. And, you know, we used to also live together. Used to share ideas. And uh, when we got back to the country, we were able to do a few things for the government, you know, uh, you know, the, the level of exposure at that level is super fantabulous. Where you are able to connect and share new digital insight, cutting edge technology. When you finish drinking your pepper water, God will tell you, either winner so is what? Regardless of your excuse. He that does not win soul is what? Is foolish. Because if you knew what was meant for your peace, that made God put this scripture there, you will know that it's not wisdom of going to cram book. For your information, I went to school. So don't even start and say it's because pastor did not go to school. I went to school. I'm still in school. I even went to some school. I didn't graduate. I graduated myself. Then put myself in other schools with my money. So I choose school anyhow I like. If I just like your school, I, I buy the phone. I don't care about graduating. I just want to say I've been there. So if you think I didn't go to school, you don't understand what I'm saying. I, do, I don't go for certificate. I just check in and check out. <laughs> you say, yeah, yeah, well, I was in a uni like 2000. You know. I was also in Ife, you know. By the time you, you wonder, is, this, is it like you're just buying from up and down, up and down? Because I have been to so many places. Jesus said, go ye into the world, huh? teaching them. Give me that scripture again. What I'm trying to tell is that instead of you praying, God, show me my ministry. God, show me my destiny. And you are disturbing God. If you just open this Bible and read, you will see some things. Ah, yeah. That brother has passion. He has passion for God. God is a, tell him to stop praying. Open Matthew 28. You stop. You don't, you don't need all this. Ah, ah. Open the book. Because sometimes when you read the book, you won't need to pray. Not everything is a prayer item. Some things have been captured on concurrent lists. Do you know they come concurrent lists in the budget? At all, at all, we go spend now. We have projects for the year. There are some things that are captured, like your salvation is by faith. You cannot pray your way into being born again. It's by faith. Just receive it. When I gave my life to Christ, I used my hair was Jericho, Pam. Like, there, there's something they call it then, but in the day, uh, something like that. Pemin, Jericho, something like that. And do you know that this is my brother, this is my friend with dreads. He can get to heaven before you with that dread on his head. Because we are not checking, 
We are not checking dread when you get to heaven. We are checking, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Now, your hair style does not mean anything. It's your head. Just let the head be correct. If I go to Jamaica for six months or Bahamas, I will do this kind of head. Just for fun. I like it. Are you all you sanctimonious spiritual people? You are, I don't even care what you have to say. Because I'm going to win so. I will now prove to you that even with this air, I will win so. You with all your Greek and Hebrew. That's why nobody is coming to Christ. Say the Greek word for salvation is soteria. You now do your hand like this. <laughs> do you, how many of you agree with me that the reason why you've not won a soul this year it's, not, it's just because you've not put your mind to it. Do you agree with me? It's not the devil. Don't pray against the devil. Because the devil is also busy. Even the devil doesn't like people who are not committed. Because he also wants to extend his kingdom. This is a battle of kingdoms. In this kingdom, we don't trade money. We trade souls. Debit and credit. Debit kingdom of darkness. Credit kingdom of God. That's all we do. My brother seated at the back there. The brother talked about where he works. He, he works with people that uh, need to be rehabilitated, young guys. And I'm still owing you administration there. Please, let me come back there. When you go to those people, you will know you can't. People who are on drugs, people who have raped, people who have done terrible things, and they are trying to rehabilitate them, to give them purpose and a new life. You can't go there and be talking Greek and Hebrew. The fact that you are saying Greek and Hebrew means you don't really know the work. But when you are facing unbelievers, you have one minute to get their attention or lose them. He said, go ye therefore and teach all nations. The word there is not nations like Nigeria, like uh, Ghana. It's like uh, people groups. Ethnic groups. So, there will be people in Saudi Arabia. Jesus will not come until he has enough people from Saudi Arabia. Jesus will not come until, until he has enough people from, uh, from the United Arab Emirates, from China, from Japan. And can I tell you, the task of soul winning is not so much about soul winning, but about discipleship. Because he said, teach them. If you bring them, but you don't teach them, you lose them. So every evangelist should be a teacher. Every evangelist must be able to teach. Now, you people should be here because last Sunday we were enjoying ourselves here. Dancing and marrying ourselves. So today now, I came ready. Some of you told me you want me to join you when you want to get married. And I said yes. Application granted. Now we are going to win souls. When you win a soul, to bring the person to church and ensure the person is established in God. Do you know why you can't do it? Because you think church is about mega church. We are not talking about a mega church. We are talking about the omega God. A God that is the beginning and the end. The beginning starts in him. The end ends in him. So when we say mega church, just put O in front. Is the omega God. Every soul will be represented in him. When we ask them to come to church, it's because we want them to meet people like themselves. Real people. Not sanctimoniously people wearing collar and deceiving themselves. You can wear collar and mean nothing. You can wear suit and mean I mean, people associate. Please hold this thing. People think wearing a suit is what makes you a man of God. For, for where to be. From where to where? When God calls you, he doesn't give you a microphone. He gives you his word. God, I can't go because. I've seen, oh God, there are people that you see them on crutches and they're asking somebody by the, by this, by the, with them, you know, in the bus. Do you know Jesus? Ah. Huh? Do you know the anointing? You're a pastor in your church. 
somebody on crutches came in and under three minutes of sitting with you is asking you brother how are you what's the name do you know jesus ha ah. you now realize that ah, you have really fallen so far that the only person god needs to rejig your brain you don't need to know too many things to win a soul to christ but you need to have the heart let me show you some frightening statistics. I wanted to project it, but please take note of these statistics. This is a United States uh, re research. In a particular church, 25 people were followed up after giving their life to Christ. They were mostly people in the area. And uh, there was an outreach and they gave their life to Christ. Uh, and there was a crusade, a small crusade. Say by the time we called them, almost all of them were very cold towards us on the phone. They came out to give their life. But when they tried to follow up, they experienced resistance. You see, there is a prayer dimension to soul winning. The devil won't let you come into his territory just like that. If you take the soul, he will grab them back. You stop buying recharge card for two months. Let's use that money and do evangelism. Then you will see the way you'll be preaching because you don't want the money to waste. Oh, I, just, I just want to check on you. How are you doing, sir? Don't call me. Tell me let's go and win soul. I just want to check on you. God bless you. There's nothing wrong with checking up on people. I said we went for a crusade. We want 25 souls, Kenny. By the time we call them back, most of them were behaving one kind. Listen. He said they did not even show interest. We could not start a, a believer's class for them. To my knowledge, none of the 25 people came back to the church after several contacts and pastoral care. Between 1995 and 2005 in the U.S., Assemblies of God churches, say AG, you won't understand if you are not a member before. That's my church. AG, uh -huh. that's Assemblies of God. Their net gain in attendance, please hear me, hear me, I'm about to say something. Between 95 and 2005, how many years? 10 years. Assemblies of God churches won 5 million 339,144 souls. Isn't that remarkable? Come on now. Isn't that remarkable? Aren't you glad to be, a, to be a part of a church? To give to a church? To be an evangelist where people are winning souls? Isn't that a good thing? Wonderful. Abby, wonderful. In that 10 years, they could only account for 221,000. I said in 10 years. Do you see why to win one soul is like going through hell? We won 5.3 million souls. We could only account for 220,000. That means 5 million, 117,000 plus could not be accounted for. So you want God to be clapping for you. Abby, when you hear that kind of report, you are the MD of your company. So you say, God, you say, Benga. Since I called you, how was your ministry? Because I know they say you're a reverend now. How's your ministry? Impacting our bottom line. See, actually, we'll be having some challenges. We try to reach out. God said we are not looking at effort. We are looking at result. Everybody has effort. I called you for a reason. When you worship God, you worship the way you want. When you serve him, you serve him the way he wants. You can't choose the way you serve him. He's the one that will tell you, go to plot A, you go to plot B. You can't choose the side. God has sent me to the upwardly mobile people, young professionals, bankers. God is sending me to reach out to campuses. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. You are going to where the work is easy. In Leeds, England, please, this is a 10-year report. I hope you are hearing me. These are reports. Look, at, I can send this screenshot to you. 
they are not uh, uh, maybe I had a dream. God now show me. It's, it's on the internet. This internet work, internet.com. In Leeds, England, a visiting speaker, an evangelist that we brought, eh, won 400 souls for a church. How many souls? Now, if we have 400 souls in this church and they come, <laughs> I'm a mega pastor. I'll just leave all of you, follow them. I'll go downstairs, say, you people, you know you are fresh. Eh? Let me see all these people upstairs. Leave them all. I will teach you. Simp ABC. You will get it. Don't worry. You don't go to those ones, so you'll be here. Apocalypse. <laughs> the soteria and the sozo. And the transdimensional incidents of the cosmic conflagration. You'll be here on those things, so leave them. Let me teach you the one that will help your destiny. Six weeks later, after they won 400 souls, only two were left. This is... Now, you, you now see that, Kenny. It is not enough to say, everybody, go out and win souls. You must be trained. If you don't know what to do, you will know how to keep them. You will take plenty seeds, go to the farm, plant corn. By the time the thing is coming out, you will use your hand to uproot it because you will confuse the, the, the weed... The, the weed with the with the corn that is just that is trying to grow up. You must be trained. Why people are not effective, Kenny, in so winning training. People don't know what to do, and people don't ask. Because you can't even come to church on Sunday and hear a message like this. It's for special workers. Only two we are left out of four hundred, and those two eventually fell away. So, what was the effort of the crusade? Do you know the power of getting one man right? The crusade where Billy Graham gave his life to Christ. How many people gave their life? Just one. Did you hear what I just said? The crusade that brought Billy Graham to life. How many souls was Billy Graham responsible for? Over 10 million so Millions. Huh? Millions. Am I right? Millions. That means that is your equivalent. If you are serious. If you, if you take away the stories and all those things like, I didn't go to school. I can't speak English. I can't speak Yoruba. If you remove it, you can do at least one million. Now, let me give you some shocking statistics. Between 2001 and 2011, do you like this message? Do you like this message? Are you already asking God to forgive you? Because this message, we are all going to give our life to Christ afresh. When I come and I sing, I want to know your heart. I want to know your ways. What you are thinking is that God comes to hug you. What you are actually saying, make me like you. So that I can think like you. So that I can act like you. So that I can have a sense of urgency like you. So that my daily uh, interface with humanity is geared to just two things either bringing souls or keeping them. Oh, come on, are you hearing me? That's why I like your offer because you remind me of me. I said that you, you look very summer perfect. When I was your age, I was a bad boy. You, you look like God is on your side. <laughs> you remind me, you know, this morning I, when I was you know, in church, I was thinking of you like ah, that. This he reminds me of me. Way back, when you start early with God. Though, me, I was adding some things so by the side. Because I don't believe one should be perfect like that. You know, eh, everyone? You know, you still need to, boys should be boys, you know. You just need to arrange some things and then you still have to forgiveness, you know. So, so me, I was having that arrangement. But she's not like that. That's what I'm telling you. I've told you all this. You think I like sharing my life secret with you? It's not your business. I'm just telling you. So at the day you think you have committed the unpardonable sin, call me. Me and God, we talk to we talk about the matter. Because I will remind him where he picked me from and why he cannot let you go. I'm a proof of a man. Just imagine that at the age of 10, the things I was experimenting with, what I will be like now. And even now, I still see the fragments of those cars on my soul. So I won't come and tell you that, oh, maybe something, something. Oh boy, leave that thing. This is the message people want to hear, but let me show you some frightening statistics. 
Because these are the kind of report God checks every Monday morning. When he wakes up. When you are going to your office and doing a, a office meeting, general meeting, a strategy session for the week, you know, uh, deliverables for the week. How many customers are we expecting? Have we sent thank you messages to all our customers that came last week? Do we have their details? When I went to Domino's, they said, please, could we have your number? I said, it's a lie. You just want to be sending me text message. We want to telemarket me. The day you are hungry, in one hot afternoon, they'll just send one message. Bonanza, uh, buy, 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 buy one, get five free. <laughs> so where your man like, woo, woo, woo. You said you didn't have money. All of a sudden, you're like, ah, Kenny, uh, um, do you have uh, one five there? He says, okay, let me add one five. We'll just order. You know, we'll just order. They are bringing six. Say, hey, ah, hey, hey. Two pastors. Shh. See the thing that moves your heart. Bonanza. <laughs> In 2001, the United States accounted for 42 million souls. People who claimed to be Christians. In 2011, how many years? The number dropped to 33 million. Under the same period in review, so the United States jumped from, oh my time is up. The United States dropped from 71% to 59. Now, I believe that that's progress. You understand? We are making progress. We are losing souls. We are losing market. Do you think these souls left God's house and went to create their own heaven? They moved to Satan's kingdom. When 71% said, we identify with the Christian faith. Then 11, 10 years later, 59 said, we identify with the Christian faith. So God should be clapping for everybody. All the Christians and all the pastors in America. God should be clapping and wow, you guys are doing a great job. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, who, who, who is the pastor that uh, lost all those people? Ah! You know, I always knew you will make us proud. If you are the one, you will, you will promote that manager. Huh? You will promote him. Give him, say, it's like we didn't promote you two years. We'll give you double promotion because you are making money for this company. We are very good since you came in. We have been seeing the progress from 71% to 59 I used to subscribe and Pastor David know this story to a particular internet network. They will charge me 185. I won't call their name. They charge me 185. I'm using practical things so that we can understand what we are doing. I don't say, oh, go into the world and win souls. If you don't see it in Kobo and Naira, you won't understand. They were charging me 185 and giving me unlimited data. Then one day, without writing letter to me, Without calling my number, because I'm a premier customer. It's not everybody that can give you a team five. They just removed the thing and gave me 150 gig or so. All of a sudden, we were watching one film in my house with my wife. During the COVID period, I just saw a uh, network, network. I said, what's no, no. I tried to restart the thing. Then I called them. They said, your, your, your data has... Uh, I said, it's not possible. It's a team five. I paid. They said, eh, let us tell you the new price. I say me. Me that I used to apply to my wife. That in my house I have unlimited data. Ah, I became ashamed. Um, my wife could not even do a, you know, get online for our meetings. So I quickly went out. I went to buy MTN. MTN router. I, they gave me 20,000. So we started enjoying the team. After one week, I was... I opened all the drawers. I brought the, lifted the bed. I couldn't find any data again. I said, ah, this is a one, maybe 120 gig or 130 gig. I checked the thing. I came to Uncle Tio's house during that period. All of a sudden, I see, eh? my wife is watching film. I quickly checked the balance on, the, on my phone. I called her. Hey, what are you doing? Hey? The, the, it was as if the thing was drinking the data. It was drinking it. It was drinking it. Do you know what happened to the brother? That the manager that approved for 
that increase in that company. Do you know what happened to him? They promoted him. Because in the first one month of making that decision, without, you are comparing yourself with MTN that are everywhere. Eh? Everywhere you go. You are comparing yourself with people that are not your mate. With Pastor Adeboye. You didn't see him saying that he started with megaphone. Oh, Shejo. Ah, are you hearing me now? Okay, well, you can hear That month, that company lost 90 million. As a, not as a result of COVID, but bad decision made. Now, that kind of a manager, what we are going to do now is, because of what he has done, we will promote you and give you double promotion. You are a very wonderful man. A mumu man. The second month, because me, I still paid for that one month, when they lost uh, 90 million. Just on bad decision made. Huh? Do you see why when Peter was playing nine and he was trying to score 3,000 souls, 5,000 souls, then God said, Peter, we need to move to the Gentile. Peter said, no. Ha, but one be Premiership. Premiership. God said, no, no, no. European League. He said, no, 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 no. I have never gone to unclean places. Then God went to look for a new striker. Paul. So Paul is he's, he's not waiting for opportunity. He's creating it. Asia Minor. Everywhere. The Bible says there was a day Paul was sleeping. A man came to him in the dream and said, come and help us in Macedonia. By the time I read the scripture for that, Paul started writing to them and said to all the churches in Macedonia. So the vision started with one man. Come, come, come. Ball day, ball day, ball day. Then Paul responded to the dream. The dream that you, you said they are always pressing you, is the one that somebody had and moved by a ship to a new land and then started churches. And people are asking me why I want to start churches. To all the churches of Macedonia, souls everywhere. The second month, that company lost over 100 million. One bad decision made. Even God is into quality decision making. When he saw that Peter was only good as a defensive uh, uh, person, he left him in defense, brought him from nine, gave him two, pushed Paul to nine. And we saw the souls. We saw the souls. And when he finished, he said, I have fought a good fight. He knew it was fight. He knew it was not a walk in the park. Many times you will go. The guy will slap your face. The moment you say, hey, uh, I have to share the love, the love of God with you. You say, I know the love of God. Get out. Or you go and preach somewhere. And the guy will say, why if I'm boy like you? Why, why are you doing this to yourself? Eh? You wait till you are 45. Then you begin to do all these things. Why you? My boss said to me, say you are wasting your life. Hey, Olomari. He said, I hear you are even a pastor. Oh, he said, when I was your age, he said, last, 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 uh, what's that you do in February 14? Last Valentine. I bought my car, my wife, my wife a brand new car. She jumped on my neck, only I love you. I said, we won't love a man who buys a brand new car. <laughs> that was test. He said, he was preaching to me. When you look at all this coupe and porch, and you are saying, oh my God, oh my God. And then you say, be sure he buys a jet. And you open that your mouth. People are not sincere. People just, are, they are following the flesh. Look at this figure. In the same 10 year period, when Christianity in America dropped from 71 to 59, look at Islam. It rose from 1.4 million to 2.7. Same period. Because if you know the vision, but you don't know the strategy. You will not achieve anything. The Muslims know that an average American is a pleasure person. He doesn't have time for it. So they tell you the part of their religion that pays you. You can marry four wives. You can divorce your wife. All those things Christians are saying, we don't have time. Then when they came into America, many of them came as immigrants. They started giving birth to lots of children. Ah, are you hearing the strategy? They started giving birth to lots of children. So those children became American citizens. The mayor in, the, in, in London is a Muslim. 
go online, you will see all the Muslims holding top positions in the UK. The strategy now, France is over 50% Islam. Now, you go to the UK, they are already targeting the prime minister position. And as long as they keep replicating, giving birth to lots of children, a day will come, you will just wake up one day and find that the entire UK Islam. Despite the fact that the religion does not promise you, oh my God, does not promise you any heaven when you die. I hope you know. I hope you know. There is no guarantee. That's why they still pray for Muhammad. But somebody says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And it's even hard because even you, you are not convinced. So God doesn't need your fine boy. Are you hearing me? If God went all the way to the bank to recruit me, ah, there must be a reason. So I give you data on other religions? My brother, this thing is not a joke. It's not just to go out and win souls. You must have the strategy to bring them. And then when they bring them, you must ensure they are being discipled. Because until they are discipled, God doesn't have them. What many of you are experiencing today is the work that some old men did on your parents when they started coming to church. And then you, by default, you became a Christian. Listen to me. This thing I'm talking about is what... Oh God, rise to your feet. This thing I'm talking to about is the same thing Jesus spoke about in Matthew chapter 9. He said, Jesus saw the multitude. The Bible said, and he was filled with compassion. And then he began to cry. He said, the harvest is plenteous. Not plenty. Plenteous. But the laborers, in the laborers doesn't mean that God doesn't have men. It means God doesn't have men he can use. There are people in church, 5,000 sitters, 10,000 sitters, 100,000 sitters, but God doesn't have many people he can use. There are people who still allocate money for makeup every month. There are people that allocate money for fine boy shirts that they will wear. But there is no love for souls in their heart. And God is looking at you and is asking, should I move you to defense like Peter? But even that defense, the chances are you will concede goals. Not only will you not win, you will allow souls leave the kingdom. The church is... You see, if I say something, I people will question it. Nobody sends brides to war. You send men to war. One of the acronyms for the body of Christ is an army. And we are not trading anything. Souls, no, no. The souls. Anywhere the souls are. When you begin to go into certain places, you will know you cannot go with your sanctimonious behavior. You will know. We have people that, hey. Anyway. Don't worry. We are together. But do you now realize that evangelism is not meant for evangelism team. It is the work of every Christian. From the day you give your life to Christ, that is heaven's position on you. Stop praying, God, show me my ministry. There is the ministry of reconciliation that has been given to every man. If you cannot win a soul, you cannot fast. If you cannot win a soul, you cannot, you cannot spend time praying for souls. Lord, I pray for Tunde. I ask that the Spirit of God will come upon you. You cannot do VG because you are not working. It is a shame if the only time you do vision is because of your problem. It's a shame. Our time is fast spent. And I will lay this cross here. Listen to me. Go and study this scripture very well. He said we should teach them to observe all the things he has taught us. And behold, I will be with you till the ends of the earth. That word of assurance was not to every believer. It was to the ones that obeyed the scripture. When I was lying there and the doctors could not fix me and they said he has hepatitis B yeah, and they couldn't fix me yeah. and then I said to God if you get me out of this hospital uh, I will go anywhere you want me to go. I will serve you with my life. Uh, I didn't know I will eventually be a pastor but this was my consecration. Uh, this became my covenant uh, because the, when you hear the doctor saying we don't really know what to do then you know you are in trouble. And on that bed, I was praying, God, if you can get me out, if you can get me out, I will do your will. 
I will go for souls, sir. And then suddenly the doctors came again. They ran another test. And they said he is showing all the same symptoms. But we can't find the infection anymore. We can't find the infection anymore. But you know, years later, I forgot about the covenant. And maybe you are here. And you are even backsliding. Maybe you used to be this kind of person. But you fell by the wayside. Today is for you. God did not give up on me. When I was almost going into incest, and I was, God didn't give up on me. God gave me time. And God came back for me. Listen to me. Listen to me. If you are there, and you know you are falling, today is the day of redemption. Today is the day of restoration. Are you hearing me? Even now as I'm talking, if you are there, come. I want to join my faith with you and I want to pray for you. If you know that somewhere in your heart, that your life or your heart is not right with God, whether you are not born again or whether you drew back from the faith as a Christian, wherever you are, just come, come. Don't be ashamed. I want to pray with you and then release the power of God to go straight into your life. Because I came for these people today. I came for these people. I came for these people. Are you hearing me? See, let me tell you. The evangelist that led Billy Graham to Christ, they were suspended after the crusade. Because they said they wasted church money for only one small boy. One small boy. That later became responsible for millions. I hope you know Billy Graham didn't speak in tongues till he died. He didn't speak in tongues. He didn't really believe in it. But when you see the fire coming from his mouth, souls everywhere. Souls everywhere. If you are there, come. If you are still there, you come. I want to pray for you. Today I came for the one. I left the 99. I came for the one. That person, that lady, come. Come. Wherever you are. I want to pray for you. If I, if I close this service at this point and I don't even take offering, it's okay for me. I used to imagine what those brothers saw in me when they kept teaching me the word of God and kept and when my father wanted to use a sharp stone to cut my face and they, I, I ran to this brother they were the ones who held me and said don't worry they were students they said don't worry it will pass it didn't pass in the first year it didn't pass in the second year it didn't pass in the third year if you are there come you know you've, you've fallen from your ministry. If God gave you a calling to win souls and you know you fell from it, come. There's restoration today. Hallelujah. There's restoration. For every soul, for every soul, for every soul, Jesus came to save, to seek and to save that which was lost. Jesus. Come, come. There's still at least two people there. It's a personal thing. He don't say, oh, I will do it on my seat. Come. The instruction is for you to come. Because your restoration is in your response. Your restoration is in your response. Your restoration is in your response. If you hearken to the voice of the Lord, that's what the scripture says. Your restoration is in your response. glory. We've already overshot our time, but we can do this before we go. Jesus, Jesus, look at your children standing here. Restore them. Restore them. Restore them. Restore them. Restore them. Restore, them. Restore in the name of Jesus. Let this ones account for at least a million souls. In the name of Jesus. Every one of them. Let the fire for souls. Begin to burn in them. Let their altars be awakened. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Rest upon them. Jesus. 
be free and restored in the name of Jesus. Now, as many of you that are standing there, and you want the Lord to give you the kind of his heart that pants after souls, wherever you are, raise your hands. I don't need to come out, just raise your hands. Holy Spirit, give them the same heart you gave to Paul. Let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep through this place. Sweep through this place. Sweep through this place. And let the heart for souls be released. Be released. Be released. souls burning everywhere burning everywhere one will bring one thousand and two will bring ten thousand thank you Holy Spirit thank him for the new heart he is giving to you I want you to thank him for a new heart I want you to thank him for a new heart I want you to thank him for a new heart. Somebody has been imparted. Somebody has been imparted. You will never be able to sleep again until you have one soul. Your heart will burn. You will see souls everywhere. Where men says there are no opportunities, you will be seeing opportunity there. Listen to me. God did not ask us to be giving birth like pigs. He asked us to go out. Don't just get emotional. Get strategic. You need a new heart. You need the love of God. You need the message. And you need the strategy. Many of us have failed. You know why? We try to win souls every day. What God wanted was for you to do it twice only in a week. But you didn't know your strategy. So you try to be doing something and then it, you got you you wore out you wore yourself out if you gave yourself thursday friday it's clear you you have three other days to do other things and that day you've told yourself i'm coming back with ten souls come on say strategy please join i wish we could have everybody like this online on wednesday if you don't have the zoom id or the mixer please let me know or ask Pastor David. We'll, we'll send it to you on WhatsApp. I'm going to be teaching on the Andrew strategy on Wednesday. The Andrew strategy on Wednesday. See, for those of us who are standing here, this is your season. All of you standing here. One, two, three, four, five. You can all do minimum of 10 souls before the end of this year. There are some of us here who have not won one soul this year. But I say this year, starting now, each of us will account for ten souls in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you the wisdom to make it happen. The Lord will give you the wisdom for souls. Your heart will burn. Your heart will burn with fire for souls. For souls. For souls. For souls. Charles, your heart will burn with fire for souls. In Ken, your heart will burn. Oh, hallelujah. Your heart will burn. You won't be a slave to the system anymore. You won't be a slave to the system anymore. You won't be a slave to the system anymore. You won't be a slave to the system anymore. You won't be a slave to the system anymore. In the name of Jesus. Can we, can we all win a soul this week? Is it something we can do? Don't do two, do one. Is it possible? Come on, talk to me. Is it possible? Come on, talk to me. Is it possible? Listen to me. When you go to the market, when Jehovah's Witness come to us, they will come until you believe. Huh? You are not sharing idea. It's for them to be saved. You come again. Say you come again. See, you drag them. 
Then bring them and hand them over to Pastor Kenny and Pastor Gwinga. If anything happens to those souls, those are the people God will ask. Oh, do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm saying? The strategy is not just to bring them, it's to keep them. We must have hope. Huh? We must have hope. There's nobody that cannot be saved. We must have hope. There is nobody that cannot be saved. We must have hope. There is nobody that doesn't want the love of God. We must have hope. That guy is waiting for you to say something. But you must understand that you must have the heart. You must have the love of God. You must have the message. And you must know your strategy. When you get your soul this week, send me their details. I will send it to the prayer team. They start praying for them. And then we are going to follow up on such people. And we are going to start a foundation class for them. And we are going to teach them the word of God till they are solid in God. Do you know why those people moved from 42 million to 33? They came to church and what we gave them was we gave them concert. We didn't give them the word. It is what brings them that will keep them. It's what brings them that will keep them. If you use concert to bring them, or you use comedy night to bring them, they will come. But if you don't teach the word of God in that concert, if you don't teach the word of God in that comedy night, the day they come to your church and they are expecting uh, 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 MC excited, that's me, MC excited, and I don't come, then they will say they, are, they only deceived us. As you go, Charles, Many will not believe you, but many will believe you. Don't be discouraged by those who do not believe. Focus on those who believe. Ah, is somebody hearing me now? The Lord bless you. The Lord caused the light of his face to shine upon you. As we launch fully into this mission week, and we teach on Friday, every prayer will be focused on souls. On Friday. So if you want to run, you can run. I'm telling you ahead. Friday prayers will be focused on souls. Next week, we're going to have a guest speaker from a, from a missionary team for more madness. Are you hearing me? More madness. I will, I will not stand before God and be ashamed because I didn't tell you the truth because I wanted you to stay in this church. I will not stand before God. I will not have it. Let me stand before God and be ashamed because of my personal error. Not because I failed in my duty towards you. So you will hear this kind of message. Say amen. amen. Peace. This week, you can start. Before the end of this year, two souls. If I can work with you. I can work with you. There are some of you, you work in banks. When you want to go to meet a client, your senior manager will follow you. Because he knows you need support. If you need support, call me. Saturday, this week Saturday, I'll be here with David around 11 a.m. We'll go inside Mende and win souls. If you're up for it, you come. Either that winner soul is wise. Your account is the one that will be credited. Don't deceive yourself. Win souls. There are souls at every level. I looked at my son a few days ago and I was afraid. Because by the, my son is just going to be nine next month. But I gave my life to Christ at 10. And I knew what I came into. And I was asking myself, does this boy understand? Do you, do you, do you know that feeling? I'm looking at like, does he understand? Because at his age, God was preparing me to come. They prepare ground. And sometimes I want to tell him some things, but I'm saying it. I ask him, do you know why I pray the way I pray? Do you know how I hear God? But sometimes I worry if he really understands what I'm saying. So if you are called as a children teacher, don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself and say you are marking time. God has kept young souls in your hands. My friend, Pastor Desmond, first gave his life to Christ under a children teacher. Don't kid yourself. There is no department in church that is empty. If you are supposed to clean the chair and you come late and the new convert sat on dirty chair. How will he give his life? When he used half of the service to be cleaning chair. Everybody
bodies in this business. Come on, we are going to do our work well. I say we are going to do our work well. I say we are going to do our work well. Come on, say amen. Come on, say amen. Come on, say amen. Come on, say amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please have your seat. After this meeting, I'm going to have a meeting. Please have your seats. I'm going to have a meeting with all cell leaders. Please just pass the offering bowl around. Let's take the offering. But are you blessed today? Come on, are you blessed today? It's not everybody that you may be able to win their soul to Christ. Sometimes you just have to bring them. Ask, maybe the person is your friend. You will ask Pastor David to, to talk to him. Bring the person to church. That's how I used to win souls when I was on campus. There are some of my friends I know I cannot talk to. I will bring them then ask one of my friends. That's my guy. Go and preach to him. The person will give his life to Christ. Faye, the first time you came to this church, I shared the gospel with you in uh, Ilupeju, and we said the confession prayer. The sinner, do you remember that day? The day Sam brought you. Huh? There was something Sam told me about you. And that's why I told him to bring you. Because I wanted to pray with you and lead you through confession prayer. If I'd reacted based on what I heard that day, you will not be in this church today. Please sit. Do you, do you speak in tongues now? Have you led a soul to Christ since you gave your life to Christ? Huh? Did you lead a soul to Christ last year? This year? You've led a soul to Christ this year. Now, when I led her to Christ, that day when she came, I remember the way we sat. I put a chair in front of her. If God ever told me, now I don't know that person she led to Christ. You see, that's the way the chain will go. To keep going. And that's what God is asking you to invest in. Come and invest in our company. We are going to Dubai. We are going to Qatar. We are going to Umofia. We are going to Afia. We, are going to, we have business branches everywhere. That's what God is asking. This lady, where is uh, Adishola? You've won about 10 souls to Christ this year. Or over. Even over. Uh -huh. But there, there was somebody who led you to Christ. Pastor Egotome. Now, Egotome is not here. He's in Lekki Church. Now, Egotome dies and gets to heaven. So you think the souls Egotome won are the souls alone. God is going to look at... You see, it's not just having 10 heads. Have 10 good heads. This is somebody Egotome trained. This year alone, she has won over 10 souls. Uh, you stay there, be making stories, giving excuses, telling God why it cannot happen. Just Continue. Why it cannot happen? Just continue. Come on, say I will change. Come on, say I will change. You don't need to be a preacher. Just know John 3, 16. So, on Wednesday, please, if you don't have our online details, see me after the service. I will send it to you. This one is a personal matter now. I will send it to you myself. I'll be teaching on the Andrew strategy. You know, on Wednesday, I'm very calm because I'm sitting down. So I will not talk like this, but I will communicate God's heart to you. At the end of the day, I don't want this church to be a big church because people are leaving their churches are coming here. I want this church to be a big church because souls are coming. Real souls. People that we can, we can point to the day they came. Tobechuku is not here today, but I led her to Christ. But I didn't just lead her to Christ. Loretta brought her. And then she got baptized in the Holy Spirit. So it's a chain. You understand? It's a chain. Don't kid yourself. God is working. People are working. It's not everybody that is on Instagram. It's not everybody that is talking about what they are doing on Instagram. Don't, don't deceive yourself. Busy people don't waste their time there. Except you are making money. Have you taken the offering? Please, if this is your first time, raise your hands. I want to welcome you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. Please let me welcome her. God bless you. God bless you. Any other person? God bless you. God bless you. You, are, you have come on a very good day. Huh? Who invited her? Biola? Is she your cousin? You can go offline. 
Uh, is she your cousin?